I'm going to show you one more thing that's uh, kind of neat and that your calculator can uh, help you explore. So uh, I still am in the document where I have nth roots defined. Um, so what I'm going to do is find, uh, well, let me first explain something. So in the numbers, uh, complex numbers, we saw that there was a real part and an imaginary part. And we kind of, you know, why would you need that? Well, if I have 3 minus uh, 8i, let's take a look at what this does. It just returns the real part. And uh, if I do that with the imaginary, it also just returns the uh, imaginary part. And we're going to use that in conjunction with our uh, function that we defined uh, to kind of do something neat. So what I'm going to do is uh, find the nth roots of, uh, let's say, 1. And I'll find the 5 fifth roots of that. So the calculator does whatever it does. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to store that um, as uh, roots. And now if I go into this, I have roots like that. Kind of interesting. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll insert. So you may never have done this before, but listen spreadsheets I'm gonna go up to uh, this thing here so I'm in column A I'm gonna press equals and uh, it's hard to actually get this so real of roots and it's returned all the real parts of the roots the things that are in that that list roots and then equals and imagine of roots like that and it returned all the imaginary parts so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to name this uh, reels for the real parts and images or whatever for the imaginary parts like that I'm going to insert a graph page and in the graph page I'm going to go to menu graph type, I want to change it to a scatter plot, and press var, I want the x to be the reals, and I'm going to press var, I want the y to be the imaginary parts, do that, and if you look, it's kind of interesting, we get a scatter plot, and uh, they're all kind of arrayed upon a circle, uh, which I've always found to be kind of neat. Uh, what's nice about this now is, if I go back here and let me clear out some stuff. If I do this, I'm going to change this to uh, I don't know the ninth roots. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to store that. So I'm going to update store. I'm going to change that to my roots list like that. If I look here, you'll see it's updated all of these. It's also doing something strange, it's just giving the angles, but whatever. Um, and then if I go here, you can see that it's, it's done it again. It's pretty interesting. Um, it'd be very difficult to do by hand. You probably wouldn't even want to. Um, if I go back, so I've done some easy things so far. What if I do 1 plus 8i? Uh, so the key thing here now is that we have to remember to uh, that... Whoa. Um, so it's using Euler's, using polar form there. I guess they're complicated. I don't know. I want to store that. So control and store as roots again. So var updates everything here. Um, <laughs> it's getting messy. Updates everything here. And you can see they're still along the circle. Uh, it's pretty neat, I think, uh, which is why I thought it was worth doing. Show you what your calculator can do. So, uh, hope that's useful.